Change your mind about that brew? Let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that machine strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can only move a certain distance. Take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close enough when performing an attack, you'll be a machine's combat power is a combination of the terrain your machine is standing on and its own attack power. This and your current machine has two points of attack power. So in total, your machine's combat power equals two points. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just like your machine, it's not affected by grassland terrain. So right now, the difference in combat power between the two machines is two points. This means your machine can do two points of damage to my machine. Did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my machine. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your you can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now, some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharge, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try.
That's about it for your turn, then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes, that can be a good thing. Overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show you what I mean. Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the Savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. You know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a <laughs> night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. You know where to find me, Red. Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! <laughs> There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Carja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. 
Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch, but overall they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to... Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Talon making it rougher. This Talon guy might still be in chain scrape. first.
I can get data to override machines from cauldrons. Just need to find one.
This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. That looks like the foreman Arnav mentioned. I should check in with him. Looks like these mines are flooding. You good? I... I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin? Arnav sent me. I'm... Not... Not now. Uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Doesn't look too good. Is that a Nora? Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I. I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I. I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. I'm below it. the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast with the blockage.
Refreshing, I guess. Maybe I can swim past on last. Find a way out of this room. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Wait.
Here's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Looks like I can pull that crane over to me. That got its attention.
Check on those miners. She's so good. We don't know that. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. Come on! Up we go! I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvent, <sighs> he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I. I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up, and it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out.
know what we need? Proper servant. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! <sighs> Where were we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just nuts! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill, guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. It was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba-boom! And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity, while Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That... could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need... Charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal.
mind. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet, so I don't spook the herd. Shock ammo could help. I'm gonna call them to the end of that machine. Ready for anything now. <coughs> I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rib from that fang horn they were talking about.
welcome, Elven. Gotta part ways with this machine for now. Look at her go! Yeah, you! How's the hunting and gathering go? Getting there. What can I do for you? I'll be on my way. Don't be a stranger. Rumor said that Fanghorn should be nearby. There's the thing. Gonna have to take it down to get its rib. Fidel and Boomer? I don't know what to say about that weapon of theirs. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! 
I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Oh. Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom! What about a rope caster? But ropes don't explode.
welcome outlet. Sundown before the Fibber Lost. And Kara Jahorn. That means the Embassy is Russell. Alright, I should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply at my stash. Might be worth taking a look around. Ah, uh, Savior. <laughs> Tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakh? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy... <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me, I'm working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. If you do manage to open the way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. All right. Maybe later, then. Hey, if you can get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. I've got board. No one wants to play some strike? Anyone?
from the north. Nora, hey. coming by. Looking for a real chance. For shards. There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Xavier, I need your help. I'm on ready to go. Xavier! Xavier! For the love of God, Tano. And Nora, all the way out here? Xavier, you're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just... Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse... They're here in the Daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop. But they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... Fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched it, Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone between- Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. 
really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanakh return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Special how? The Tanakh are returning one of our own, a soldier by the name of Fashav. He's been their captive for five years. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean, stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Laura got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? There's the commander. Better brace yourself, and good luck. Why the sun king believes we can have peace with these barbarians beyond me? Agreed. Alas, it is not our place to question his radiance. How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Dora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. 
Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Might be worth another look around the Daunt before the embassy. Maybe I could check on errand in the courtyard. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Bloodstains. It's a good place to start as any. Sure, this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. In branches. Was someone up here? Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. See where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Find a cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them.
easy to follow the trail up ahead now. Blood. A lot of it. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the bullet trail with my focus. Looks like you're headed for that bridge. Set up a lookout down here. Bad view of Baron Light. Like a smile, right? Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? Could look around with my focus. Traylon's here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs.
This looks like a good place for someone to hide. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. I'm sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. This is my stash later.
guessing that's Rayad. That trail must have been his. He bled out trying to get here. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past Baron Light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conifer's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. When we fought the Eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> Sir? Brother! Good looking! Where's Erend? It looks like he's had a few. Gentlemen. Uh, that's our cue. <laughs> Taking the edge off? Oh, at the end of the world's coming. I don't be sober for it. Now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So whatever you need, ask away. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, 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 we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, what, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. I better get going. Right, you know, after maybe just no promises. I, I know where to find you. Uh, Hopefully, not don't count on it. Be careful out there, Edwin. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy, did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest, and they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. 
Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar? He might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before Sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to Nozar. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader's dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. I need to get off this thing and walk. said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. To the bristleback or the falls. Go check it out. It's strange. Lots of it have been tampered with. Almost like an override. Died on impact. Maybe it charged off the cliff up there. 
Trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? How? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. See where this leads. The old cart tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way. smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? There's a vex. So they did come through here. They must have got them trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around. Not much point in using acid here. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. It looks like the mine runs pretty far back. Bristlebacks must have collapsed these tracks too. There's a lot of blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. So 
That's addressed to Oldland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Everyone must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Secretly blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. I'm going to find out where the...
Bristlebacks came from, I need to head for the west. Another reason to get the embassy going? Machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West? Who? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So, to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. Ignoring me again. That energy doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. That spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it, and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Ah! <sighs> 
Nice to see you. What strikes your face? Easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. Yeah. 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 Attacks break weapon blocks and do more damage, but they're slow. So your opponents might counterattack. Power attacks smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable, so pick your moment. After attacks, I think landing heavy attacks is how much you can energize it faster. Now to use that energy, try attacking your enemy. See if you can energize them. This one goes to the Nora.
ass of yours over here and say that again. I should walk. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. People are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things. The chain's great. Oh, my God. 
I'm not giving up. More machines on their way. Get to safety! I'll handle the rest! Go, Lakasha! I'll help the Nora! Them Shadow Karja ain't gonna be safe! Whoa. Pain subsiding. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, nor We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest would... Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of... Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savo. Our situation. I know we cannot stay here, but let me up there. But his meditation. At least let me check on him. If he's. Yes. Yes, that is the trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I'll make an interesting color for my armor. I think 
I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. <sighs> broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Machines. Savahar must have snuck past them. I could probably slip past them. Or take them out. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. There's Savoir. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> no, no, the vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain? Oh. A ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the peak. I just need to see the twilight path. My people.
people will find their home. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sign above me. The true sign before me. Show me the way. It's even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sign above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Caster to latch on to. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Good. Can't use the pole caster on that. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't... Huh? Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Useful for making dyes.
Don't make this difficult. Get out of the way. No. I'm stoned with the stocks. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on you. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed... Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I, I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Fleabags. Okay, so you clipped the Stormbird. But it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Come on, boss. It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. This is... Savohar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savohar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. Sir? There's Erend. That looks like he's had a few. Why the Sun King? Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh. Only our annoyance. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. 
It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry, can't do it. I'm asking nicely. Uh, I don't know what to do. Hey, Varl. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's Orders happening? Hey, you know, the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King Avad is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Burl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it.
I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja Sea Ink is decoration, a litany of deeds. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, this side shows my martial deeds, before I die. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear? I think I've heard enough for now. As you wish. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed, or... But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows I'm in a unique... If Sun King of... The Tanakh... They're not. Chief Akaro, even if that changed... You asked why I need Rite of Passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Karja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile.
Lancers! Form up! They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Vashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! We 
We've survived worse. Fire without ammo. Shield like that. Better scan it. Generated. Turn. Come down here and face me! 
No! It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades! Mark this day! Today you have decimated the marshals! Slaughtered the Karja! So begins our war on Ikoma. Move out! Without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Fashav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though... Obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I 
appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. So, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, Regala's machine riders. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like a useful wood. the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under her command. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. Silence. But what's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? About the other day. I know you and him don't get on, but 